We're at a moment in time when we as a country have to decide who we are and who we're going to be. It's happened before, when a woman's right to vote was finally recognized, when we decided as a country that it was no longer okay to discriminate on the basis of race, religion, or national origin, and when the Supreme Court legalized same-sex marriage in 50 states. In each of these moments, the American people stood up and said, enough. We will not deny any people their basic human dignity. Not us, not here. That's exactly where we are today. Our government is enacting an immigration policy which is intentionally dehumanizing, tyrannical, and chaotic, detaining immigrants in detention centers rife with physical and emotional abuse, denying entry to refugees who are fleeing violence, separating children from their parents to break their will. All of this is being done by the people we elected. This is a reflection of us. And if we don't do something about it, this will become who we are. Raesis will not let that happen. We believe that as a country, we are defined by how we treat the most vulnerable among us. That's why we take on this work. Because if we don't, who will? This moment is about every one of us. What are we as Americans willing to let happen in our name before we say, this is not who we are, and so this stops right now. What's at stake here is the soul of America. Because the principles that make America so great, the ones that make us a shining beacon of light for the whole world, they're on the verge of slipping away. And if they do, we'll never get them back.